What's going on guys? It's your boy Midnight Man coming at you with another video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to set up your Astro Gaming headset with the Elgato capture card paired with the PlayStation 5 console. This method will work whether or not you're using a mix amp or a base station with your Astro headset. Since this video covers specifically how to use the Astros with the PlayStation 5, you're also going to need to pick up the Astro HDMI adapter. The reason you need this is because there's no optical out port on the PlayStation 5. So you're going to need to have this adapter so you can pull that audio into your mix amp or your base station. If you have all that equipment, you're ready to put it all together now. Let's first start off with how to put together the Astro HDMI adapter. Now, assuming you've already disabled HTCP within your PlayStation settings, which if you don't, you're gonna have a black screen and you won't see anything. But if you've already done that, you're gonna wanna follow this diagram that actually came out of the box of the Astro HDMI adapter. This shows pretty clearly how you wanna set up your cables with the exception of part D. You don't wanna put your HDMI cable to your TV because you'll be using that cable to output to the Elgato capture card. So with that being said, go ahead and place your first HDMI cable from the PlayStation 5 to the HDMI input on the Astro adapter. Next, you wanna plug in a USB cable to power the adapter so you can use a power brick you might have or even the back of the PlayStation 5. You'll also need the optical cable to plug in from the adapter to the base station or mix amp that you might have. And with the base station, you'll know that the optical cable is plugged into it once you hear like a little click. Don't just leave it loose or else you won't get any audio. You need to make sure that it's into the optical in slot fully. And then lastly, make sure you're providing USB power to your mix amp or base station. The USB cable to power the adapter can be plugged into any USB port in case you don't have space for some reason to plug one in on your PS5, but the base station has to be plugged in via USB to the PlayStation. Now that you've done that, you can take the HDMI output cable that you plugged into your HDMI adapter and then plug that into the input slot on your Elgato capture card. And from there, just set up the capture card like normal with the HDMI cable that you plugged into the out slot on the capture card to go to your TV so that way you can see your gameplay. And that's the physical hardware setup for this method. You do not need to pick up the Elgato chat link cable for this method. You don't need it. The main thing that you really need to pick up is that HDMI adapter. And I know there's some third party ones out there, but guys, I honestly just go with the one made by Astro so that you know your stuff will work. With your Astros on and ready to go, you may or may not hear audio through your headphones, but don't worry, I'm gonna set you straight right now. So what you wanna do is start off on the PlayStation 5 home screen and then scroll over to the top right hand side where you see settings. Select that and then scroll all the way down to sound. And then within here, you wanna to go to the audio output tab, and then you're gonna to wanna to select HDMI device TV. Not the Astro A50, but you wanna have HDMI device selected. Under that, you can have the HDMI device type as TV or even AV amplifier is okay. You can go with either one of those. Now, if you scroll down a little bit more here under general, I usually go for my audio format priority to be linear, but you can also go with Bitstream Dolby if you're trying to do some extra things with your audio. Now, we also wanna make sure that the microphone's working. So make sure for the input device for the microphone, you have that as the Astro A50, A40, whichever microphone that you have. And you can also test that out by going over to adjust microphone, microphone level, level and you can, can see, see that, that I can, I can hear, hear myself. myself. So that just confirms right there that my microphone is working for the PlayStation 5 input. Now, in the case you're in a party chat call and you wanna control the audio levels of the people that you're playing with, then just go over to your quick menu settings, go over to sound, and this is where you can double check your output device, make sure that it's still on HDMI TV, and then you can scroll down to voice chat balance, and this is where you can balance out how loud your party is versus the game audio. In this video, I figured I'd also mention that you don't have to necessarily stick with HDMI device TV. You do get a different type of sound when you do run the USB Astro A50, A40 headset option. So you can do that, but if you wanna have your audio recorded, if you want to run this kind of setup, you wanna make sure that your output to headphones is chat audio, and then all your audio will still be recorded that way. And as you can see within my OBS, you see the Elgato sound levels going as I have my Astro headphones on, like everything is wireless at this point. 
you can see that the audio is working just like so. And below that, I have my commentary microphone because you're gonna need two microphones if you really wanna run this setup correctly. So one microphone will be for your PlayStation 5 and then the other microphone will be for your computer, for the commentary. So there you guys have it. That is the complete setup of how to set up your Astro A40 or A50 headphones with the Elgato with the PlayStation 5 console. I know it was a little bit detailed, so please re-watch this video a few times so you can understand it as much as you can. And if you're still having problems, definitely feel free to leave a comment down below in this video, as well as hit me up on my socials. I have Twitter, I have Instagram. I also have a whole Discord server that you can join and we can chat in. Thank you guys so much for staying to the very end of the video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with the post notifications on so that way you don't miss any future videos or live streams that I'll do on this channel. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.